we're going to have a gunfight on the side road is what we're going to have. You do not need to have a gunfight well, on the side of the road. Well, then you better start listening to sense. You need to start listening. No, sir. I do not need to listen to an agent of a foreign corporation. Okay. This is another video out of Wyoming. Officers dealing with a sovereign citizen. These encounters can turn violent, so I wanted to address a tactical concern, although it's not really the goal of my channel at this time. It's definitely worth noting. I put the original video link in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and thanks for watching. So, your idea on solving this. Yeah means you have no authority or jurisdiction over me is for me to get out of my private automobile and talk about what I just told you. And you can show me your passport. You got my passport, dude. I don't dude. have your passport. Them, those gentlemen do have my passport. The Highway Patrol do. Okay. Highway Patrol, how about bring the passport so I can read it to the sheriff? Could you be so kind? So, Anko, if you come out and explain to me your passport, I'll hear your side of it. You've already heard my side. I've already told you my side. Well, you can explain your passport to me. I don't need to explain it. You should know this as a LEO, I've shouldn't you? Your, I've never seen your passport. <laughs> well, then, I don't know what to tell you. We'll sit here all goddamn night. But I am not getting out of this goddamn private automobile to explain myself that I've already done. Yeah. I'm asserting my rights to travel... And I'm informing you that you have no jurisdiction or authority over me. So and you're me, not trying to accept it. Ask the guy to pull me over to get it. I'll show it to you. It's real simple. I'm not... I, this is real simple. You're making it difficult. I, I don't feel that I am. <laughs> well... I'm the one making it difficult right now. Right, because I won't do what you ask. I don't have to do what you ask. You have zero authority over me. I don't contract with foreign corporations. No authority, no jurisdiction. There's nothing in any law. Sovereigns have no idea what law they follow. Natural law, common law, case law, federal law, international law. They'll often quote them all when it's beneficial to them. And when, for instance, these officers will cite the case law of Pennsylvania versus Mims, he'll say case law is not law. Sovereigns also love to quote United States versus Wheeler, a 1920 case which references horse and buggy. This case protects citizens' rights to travel freely. However, traveling freely was never meant to exclude regulations of the road. States can regulate all drivers to ensure they are proficient in operating a vehicle. This driver, and he is a driver by definition, for being in control of a motor vehicle, is required to be licensed to drive by a state or a foreign country. So, young man, may I have my passport please to read to the sheriff? Okay, the only way you're getting your passport is once you step out of this vehicle. Why do you want me out of this vehicle so bad, you guys? Because there is state law, case law, Pennsylvania versus... Case law is not law. That's where you're wrong again. Case law ain't law. Okay. We're not, not even close. Not what you guys need to do is understand that I am correct. You have no authority over me. None. I don't have to get out of this private automobile. I don't have to obey your corporate bylaw speed limits. Okay, let me just explain this to you. <coughs> You're not leaving here until you step out of the vehicle. Then we'll, I ain't leaving. I am not going anywhere. And your threats don't mean jack to me, bud. Well, it's, it's not a threat. It to is. hell if it ain't. You're threatening me to get out of this vehicle so you can try to kidnap me. Meanwhile, you've stolen my property and he can't even admit that. It's the property of the United States government, actually, sir. It's a no, it is ID. not. Yes, sir. What is possession? It's, it, it is property. What is possession, I'm sir? I'm going to argue with you, sir. I know you can argue with me because you don't know the law. Possession is nine-tenths of it, correct? 
All I said was, <laughs> that, all I said, when I stopped you, I didn't say you're getting a ticket. I never said you're getting a ticket. I just want you to step out so we can talk face to face. We are talking face to face. Out of your vehicle. No, I'm not getting out of my private automobile. This ain't a vehicle. Okay? What is it then? It's a private automobile. Actually, Congress passed a law July 8th of this year that nobody in the United States needs a driver license unless they're dealing in commerce. Can Congress pass laws on state driver's licenses? Of course not. That's not the purview of the U.S. Congress. The laws that Congress can pass are enumerated in the U.S. Constitution. And if not specifically enumerated in the Constitution, then it falls to the people and the states. What the federal government can do is dangle the carrot of federal funding, causing the states to bend to the will of the federal government. In this legislation, U.S. Congress has attempted to provide funds to states that do not suspend driver's licenses as a penalty. U.S. Congress has also had similar legislation when convincing states that speed limits should be a certain maximum and also for the legal drinking age. You see, these laws fall to the state, and the only way the feds can have their way is through withholding federal funds. Just admit that you don't have authority over me, hand me my passport, and say I'm sorry for impeding your travel. What do I need to give you to get you out of your vehicle? Nothing. You ain't getting me out of this private automobile. Okay. Why would I? I haven't committed a crime. Because I'm giving you a lawful officer <coughs> as a peace officer to step out of your vehicle. You're doing what now? We'll be right back, okay? Okay. okay. You just parked us under a tree, huh? What's that? You yeah. Parked us under a tree? Well, I had an old timer tell me once they only sing for the rich. All right, so what's your last name? Barris. B E R R I S. B E R R I S. Send the passport you stole. Okay, we didn't steal your passport. We well, then may I have my passport You'll get everything back? back? What I need you to do, okay, so I'm going to tell you. Okay, so um, you're driving without a driver's license, you're speeding, you don't have plates on your vehicle. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I need you to get out of the vehicle to chat with us. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you to get out of the car. So right now I'm asking you, will you please get out of the car and speak to us? No, I will not. Okay, I'm going to tell you to get out of the car. You need to get out of the car right now. <laughs> You're being recorded. You're That's really, fine. Okay, and under what authority are you demanding an American state national to get out of this vehicle when I don't have to prove any kind of... I am not in your corporate bylaws. I don't okay, need driver's fine, licenses. Sir. That's fine. I, I respect your beliefs. But you it's not a belief, well. you guys. Okay, this so ain't beliefs. This next time, I'm going to make you get out of the car. What that means, I'm going to break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Understand? Unless don't do that. Out. Don't do that. Okay. I'm telling you. That. I am telling you, if you do that, this is going to go south quick. Okay. okay. I don't want it to go south. Well, don't be you, fucking breaking into my private property then or stealing my private property. Okay, then help us out, sir. I am. I've already helped you. I've educated you about the law, but you're not listening. Okay. You're not accepting the facts. Okay. Okay. We're not now I'm going to ask you one more time. I would like my passport back. I would like to get on my way. I have critters with water freezing. I, I really that. don't have time for this. Okay, sir. I'm telling you, we if we have to, we will break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Do you want it to get to that, or do you want to come out and talk to us? Okay, so you're threatening to break my private property. I'm telling you that and I have do you know under the to law out of this vehicle if you do not comply with our orders. I don't have to comply with your orders. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Do. Yes, sir. I do not. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to have a gunfight on the side of the road is what we're going to have. We do not need to have a gunfight well, on the side of the road. Well, then you better start listening to sense. You need to start listening. No, sir. I do not need to listen to an agent of a foreign corporation. Okay. Sovereign citizens have a propensity for violence, and officers should be cautious. If a person is stating they're going to engage you with gunfire, I would encourage you to believe them and govern yourself accordingly. That includes deploying superior weapons to the scene and positioning yourself tactically. In general, 
Officers should never frame themselves in the window like this. Instead, take a position behind the pillar. This will give you an advantage of seeing the assailant's hands and makes the officer less of a target. Any tactical advantage is important when you're reacting to an assailant's movements. Okay. But I am not going to allow you to violate my rights to travel. I will not allow you to, to damage my private property. Okay? okay? I'm telling you property. right now. I don't want to damage your private property. That's I, what I'm saying. Right. Is that I what it want, is? You said you wanted to talk to Sheriff Harlan. I don't want to talk to Sheriff. I've already talked to him. I've talked to all your judges, your state's attorneys. State's attorneys know. I said them cease and desist. Shit disappeared. Why? Because I know the law. Well, Where's we'll that make, at right we'll make now? Some phone calls and see what we can do here, okay? Well, common sense should prevail. And I'm counting on the sheriff's department for that. Okay. Can't do for you. All right, sir. Um, here's your passport back. Can you roll it down a little bit further? You just want me to slide it in there. Just slide her in here. Okay. So this is this is back. Jody pulled those out. Okay. Um, free to go for now, okay? What'd you do to my car? We didn't do anything to your car. Okay. I got it on film here. Okay. There's nothing sabotaged on my private vehicle. There's nothing sabotaged on your vehicle. All right. So you guys have a nice day. Okay. We'll see you around. Oh, Wyoming. And I'm not sure what this driver's status is. He may have relinquished his U.S. citizenship and become a U.S. national. But state laws just don't only apply to citizens. Being a national doesn't exempt you from state laws or state speed limits. Foreign nationals are not exempt from these laws. An individual, for example, with an Italian passport needs to abide by the rules of the road in the U.S. state they are operating a vehicle in. Likewise, as a U.S. citizen or national going to Italy, you would need to abide by Italian laws. I don't believe there's a U.S. treaty with Italy that exempts U.S. citizens from their speed limits. Officers need to get educated on this, and these officers spent too much time trying to coax a no person from the vehicle. I don't believe these officers ever intended to forcefully remove the driver. It is disappointing to see people not being held accountable. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I release a new video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.